So what I'm drawing, do I change what's in front of me? Um, well, the short answer is yes, all the time. Um, and I think it's because the point of me doing it is, is, is to impose myself upon the scene and to encourage other people, to encourage students to impose themselves upon the scene and not lose sight of themselves. The fact that, you know, they're the artist, they're in control of the scene. So if you need to put things in that aren't always there, if you need to scan the scene and look, you know, five meters over to the right or the left and bring that into the picture plane, then you need to do that. And if there's ugly things, then, you know, you need to have the confidence and the ability to take them out because underlining all of that all the time is the fact that I am manipulating that scene to tell the story that I want to tell. So I always encourage students on location to do that. And I encourage students, even if they're working from photographs as well. Somebody once famously said, if you don't like what you see, paint over it. And I think that's just a great, great, great message to take with you that, you know, you, whether you're working virtually, whether you're working on an online film or whether you're actually on location and you're depicting the scene that's in front of you, you've got to have the mindset that you are in control of this. Okay, you might be learning techniques, you might be learning skills, but at the same time, it's your vision. And even if you shape things wrong, if you get your perspective wrong, it's still your vision. It might not be what you want, but at that one given moment in time, it's, it's exactly right for you on your creative journey. So all the time, I'm taking things out and putting things in because that's, that's kind of what I do. And it's so much more fun to do that, to do it that way.